Hi guys, I'm May Tevez and welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to share to you my 10 tips for Filipinos traveling abroad for the first time. So because we're going to travel in a few days and my niece was going to go out of the country for the first time, that's why it lead me into making this vlog to also share what I know and my own experience. My number one tip is to secure your passport. So the pa before even booking a flight, make sure that you already have a passport if you don't have one you can have your appointment or you can set your appointment in the fa but if you already have a passport make sure that your passport will expire in six months number two is to make sure you do your research because we're living in a third world country and we are not privileged travelers so whenever we travel we have to defend our reasons for traveling and we should have the means to do so and tip number three is to prepare your travel documents you have to make sure that when you are going to have your inter interview with the immigration officer you have to Prove to them that you're going back to the country and if ever they will ask for your travel documents, you have to prepare your sleep or your company ID, your birth certificate. I'm not saying that you, you really need to show all the documents with the immigration officer but just in case they will ask, you can show them documents like COE or latest payslips, bank statements and make sure that you already have a copy of your return ticket because that's very important to prove that you are really coming back to the philippines so don't be scared guys with immigration officers because they are just doing their job to protect you from human trafficking and things like that they know better so make sure that when you are going to have your interview you ha you just have to be honest with the immigration officer tip number four is to be early at the airport if you're going outside the country or you are going to have an international flight make sure to be there three to four hours before your flight i know you might think that's too much but just to be prepared if the line is long because when you're at the airport you have to check in you also need to pay your travel tax sometimes the line in the travel tax is also long and the line immigration is also long so just to be sure that you will not miss your flight be at the airport three to four hours before your flight. Tip number five, be honest with your interview with the immigration officers. One of the worst things that could happen to you is to be offloaded, but you can avoid that by doing your research also. Be prepared by having your documents whenever the immigration officer will ask for it. In my experience, if you're going out of the country with someone, it would help if you are a close relative and one of the tip also is to dress simply to make a favorable impression with the immigration officer. Tip number six is to bring dollars. Your travel fund is the free will to your travel so it's very important that you bring dollars. Why? Because, because number one, to take advantage of the high exchange rates. Number two is you will rarely find foreign exchange outside of the country who accepts Philippine peso. Tip number seven is to have a credit card. Credit cards are very helpful in traveling. Fees are relatively low and you will save a lot of money compared to using your ATM because you will lose some money if you use your ATM and withdraw outside of the country because of the exchange rate. So you can use it but there will be loss. Tip number eight is to always be careful. You're going outside of the country. It's a different place. It's unfamiliar. They have different beliefs and culture. So you have to be prepared also to deal with uncomfortable situation and to have more patience when dealing with people, locals in other country. So you have to immerse yourself with the culture also and Make sure to be careful with your belongings, especially your passports and, and important documents that you might need as you go back to the Philippines. So of course, even if there are differences in cultural beliefs and all that, don't forget that you're going outside of the country to enjoy. So immerse yourself in the culture, enjoy the places that you're going to go to Los, and of course, get a taste of their local cuisine because that's one of the things that you will really enjoy in visiting or in traveling in other country. Tip number nine is to get a travel insurance. We don't give so much importance to travel insurance, but it's as important as having a passport. It's an essential just in case something unforeseen will happen to you during your trip. So if you're not financially prepared, it's good that you have a travel insurance so that you can have a security while you're traveling outside of the country for your protection also. And if something happens to you abroad, 
for example, you need to be hospitalized, it will really get a big chunk of your travel funds. Get yourself a travel insurance whenever you're going outside of the country. You can do a research with the travel insurance because there's a lot of type of travel insurance. Some of them covers illness, theft, loss, trip cancellation, and all that. So I hope that you will also treat travel insurance as important as your documents and your passport. And my tip number 10 is to make sure you bring a reusable water container. In the Philippines, water is very cheap, but if you're going out of the country for example with my experience when we went to hawaii a bottle of water will cost you one to two dollars so that's also a big savings if you bring your reusable container and of course you also get to help the environment by saving plastic bottles when you travel thank you so much for watching this video i hope this will be helpful for you you can also share this video to someone you know who's going outside of the country for the first time and i want also to promote our new business it's handmade accessories and I'm wearing it right now. I'll put the link on the description down below so you can follow us on Instagram, Trinkets by Jamie. And we have new collections dropping almost every week. So please follow us on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have more tips, you can put it on the comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.